part two of me fighting evil Spider-Man. Let's go! You're done! Ugh. Stop! Ugh. Ugh. Guys! Ugh. You are done! I did to them. I webbed them. And look, he stole my web shooter. He taped it on him. You can't even 
can't see him well. I've beat him. What do you think I should do with him? No! Oh, oh, oh. Guys. Guys, I gotta get them real quick. I'm spying. On my back. You can get out of here. <laughs> That's how I prove I'm Spider-Man. Cause look. Here <laughs> we go.
if you see a door and it needs a code, the code is 117288. Okay, so <laughs> God. <laughs> So I think I might be sorry. No. 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 Oh God, he's making. for you. Spot people with that recon scanner. Hang on, I'm gonna... Okay guys, I put on the full mask. So, I hope he won't come. So, let's do this. Okay, guys, we gotta get out of here. So, guys, I don't think I really need to get cold.
I don't know what's happening. But something or someone is targeting me. Wait, there's a video. I think I gotta go check it out. Okay, guys.
They don't want me back. They don't want me back in the MCU. Then I can't stay in your car. Okay. Bye, guys. <laughs> Security's outside running for me. Uh, I'm gonna hide in this stranger's trunk. Nothing suspicious, right? Nothing Just suspicious. Your friendly neighborhood. Are you able to drive me somewhere a little far away? I have my car. Do you have your car? Yeah, it's over there. Though. Okay, let's run your car. All right. <laughs> what are you guys doing, huh? We're running away from. We're running away from the from the villains. This is reality. Okay, okay, let's go in your car. Here we go in your car. We drive far away. I change and then we come back. He was really funny running. <laughs> <laughs> it's this way. You see. Security, security, stop. Where? Alright guys, I have to be solid snake here. Uh, how far is the security guard? I don't see him. Hey, excuse me, kind stranger who has Spider-Man stuck in his trunk. Can I use a weapon here just in case I get... Uh, yeah, you yeah. can go ahead. So, Eddie Brock number two, what, what weapon would you recommend? I see, I see a Sharpie. Maybe I could like draw like a mustache on his face and he could get confused by that. Oh, there's small security. Get, get down, get down. Oh shit, oh shit. This is fucking scary. I don't see anyone. Why does Sony hate Spider-Man this much? I'm telling you, man. Sony hired no, like look, they're over there, dude. Where? Yeah, they're over there. Oh my god. So over there are like three. Some research labs. This is the small. Covering season eight's most insane myth, starting with one everyone wants to know: Can you still float to the sky barrier in season eight? All right, so obviously the caretakers are the. What if smartphones were more than just smart? The all-new Google Pixel Six truly sees you. Don't tell anyone, but there's a bit of drama in the creative community. This last week, a couple of things happened that I just felt like I needed to talk about. Both of these involve big creators that have big implications on the creative community. Now, I want to be clear, I hate drama, and that's why I kind of stay out of these things usually. But I felt like I needed to share some of my opinions and solutions to these issues. Let's dive into it. All right, the first piece of drama is this map right here by Team Power. It's their Squid Games map. But there's been some drama around this this last week. Dumbblind put out a tweet bringing attention to this issue and then the big leaker Hypex brought more attention to it the other day. Now the problem with this map isn't that it was created. The problem with it is that it's now in their top most played maps in the hub and being featured in Fortnite. Here's why this is an issue. If you look through Epic's rules for being featured, you'll see right here some rules about copyright infringement. If your creation contains any images, artwork, sculptures, structures, logos, words, phrases that they don't have permission from the rights holder to use in their map, then it can't be featured. But we have a map right here based on Squid Games. Yes, they called it Squad Game, but if you go and play the map, you'll see it's a direct copy of the most popular Netflix show of all time, Squid Game. It definitely uses the same sets, it uses the same sculptures, and if you look at Team Power's YouTube channel, clearly this was intended to be Squid Game. Now, I have no issue with what Team Power's done here. I'm all about recreating stuff in Fortnite, and I love this map. It is so well done. I even made a whole video about this map and another Squid Game map, and I fully support it, and I love that Team Power did it so quickly. The drama, though, is, is that Fortnite is now featuring this, but they have removed other Squid Games from Discovery, and they're treating this map differently than they are other people. Yes, this is made by Lachlan's team, and Lachlan has a lot of influence and power, but they're getting treated differently than everyone else. And now we're seeing a lot of people in the community really complaining about this. They're asking for Epic to have better community communication 
education, but even more than that, I think people just want consistency from Epic. We're seeing a lot of inconsistencies with what is featured and what isn't, and while the most played is strictly a numbers game here, and it makes sense why this is one of the most played maps in Fortnite, if we look at YouTube, you can see that Team Power's map has 3.2 million views, Lachlan just released another video about it, Laser Beam had a video on his second channel with 2.6 million views, Loser Fruit posted about it, Cypher PK posted about it, Muse Elk posted about it, like a ton of people have posted about this map. And I should say that I love this kind of publicity for creative mode. This is a very healthy thing in getting more people to enjoy creative mode, come to it, make more maps for it, and obviously this is gonna bring a lot of plays for this map, and it's gonna be played more than all these other ones. So it makes sense that it's in the top played, but Epic can definitely pop maps out of there, especially if it's breaking the rules of copyright infringement, which I think in this case, it's clear this is a copy of Squid Game. Now, Epic has a history of allowing some things to slide. You remember the Among Us thing where they had tons of maps made that were basically just copying Among Us, and they even dedicated a whole hub to these maps. I mean, heck, Epic made their own game mode, ripping off Among Us without telling the original Among Us creators. So clearly Epic didn't really care in that case. There was the Fall Guys maps that was featured in the hubs for I don't know how long, months and months. So there is precedent for Epic doing this in the past. Like, if it's getting lots of plays, Epic doesn't really seem to care if it's a copyright infringement or whatever. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's fair to the rest of the community. I think the issue is here that there's a double standard. So Epic either needs to get clear on what their rules are, or they need to enforce it fairly for everyone. I don't know what I would do if I was in Epic's shoes right here. Like I already said, I love all the attention this brought to creative mode, but it's also a violation of the rules for featured maps. I personally think Epic needs to figure out a way to allow more IP type maps. These kind of things bring a lot of attention to these are the worst maps I've ever made. A couple of weeks ago, I made the best maps I've ever made video, and today I want to show you the worst maps I've ever made. These are so bad, I deleted them out of my maps list, so I can't even update them and make them better. All right, guys, let's just jump right into it. All right, the first map I want to show you is the official Brute Neck Death Run. Now, my first observation is I had a little bit less facial hair in this video. Well, let's watch this video so that you'll see uh, at the beginning of the video, this used to be my, like, update videos, right? This was We Got the Neck, and I was like testing all the different things it could do. And then I made a map out of it in like an hour. So I'm just gonna start watching this a little bit. Yeah, I didn't put too much effort into aesthetics here, as you can tell. I just built a box with whatever these uh, like props are. But yeah, you just had to like jump through this. And now obviously you can't even play this map anymore. There are no mechs in the game at all. This was actually pretty challenging. I remember watching Pro Hennis play this and he could not finish this map. I think they had updated the brute just a little bit so you couldn't make this jump anymore. It was impossible to make the jump so i don't know how he even like finished it but it, it was just bad guys this is bad like i didn't even spend time like making a trailer for this or anything like this was like really like low effort map but i was the first one to yeah. ever make a death run or anything with the mechs it, like this came out like a couple of hours after the update i even made a trap tunnel for the mechs <laughs> How dumb is that? Okay, now this is actually a cool level. I made a dropper where at the bottom you had to jump into the mech. Like you had to like quickly press E to get into the mech. Like it was pretty unique. I thought that was a that was a cool idea. And I'm trying to like fast forward to the end because I felt like the last level was cool. Okay, so you had to do like a super jump here and like make it all the way to the end, but it was like you had to time it just right and it was really hard. Okay, here's the jump, I think. Is this it? Oh yeah, look, I timed it just right. Look how far you could fly with these mechs, guys. That was it, man. Man, what a junky map. <laughs> you thought Scissors map was hard? Just wait until you try mine. Oh my gosh, I'm so cringy. <laughs> Look at my intro. I love my old intro, guys. It's so good. Okay, all right, wait, I gotta turn this off. Hold on, hold on. So this is the first map I ever made, guys. This is a death run, like a straight old school death run. And it's actually a really challenging death run, like super hard. Now, this, I wouldn't say this is like the worst design map I've ever made, but it was just really, I don't know. Back at it now, I'm like, this map. In this first video, I'm like showing you the levels and stuff, but I don't actually show myself playing it. But I made another video later where I actually played through it and like tried to beat my own death run, and I don't think I could actually beat it in the end because I think the last level is literally impossible to beat now. I, I deleted them. They're not uh, in my list of maps I can go and edit anymore, so I can't go and fix them and like make them 
like beatable. I mean, there were some good levels in this. This was, this was a fun death run. I got put uh, quite a bit of effort into this. This is my first build ever. I didn't know what I was doing. Oh, this level. I forgot I made this like parkour level, but I had guys on the side, like these rocket guys that would shoot in and would make the whole map shake, but it didn't work anymore when I played through it. Like it just totally broke the map. I still think it was a great idea to have the rockets like shaking the whole screen and making it confusing, but uh, it made it nearly impossible to get through this level. It was really, really hard. So I need to fast forward to the last level. Oh, this was a really cool slide level. You had to go all over this like room and it was like boosting you all over the place. It felt like a Disney, right? Like an old school Disney Space Mountain or something. I don't know what I was doing. But you finally get to the last level up here and what you're supposed to do was rocket ride all the way to where that arrow was, but the, the guy doesn't appear there anymore. Like I think, I think the traps maybe were killing the sentry or something and I can't go and update it guys. I can't go update this. I can't fix my map. So that's why it's one of the worst maps I've ever made is just because it's unplayable. You can't beat it. It's impossible to beat now. And even if the sentry were working, I think it was completely impossible anyways. I, I think I only did it once. And even then I maybe cheated a little bit. I don't know. It was a really hard death run. Terrible! This is my prop parkour map which I made in like one hour flat. This is right when the prop hunt gun came out and this was like an update video that we're watching right here. I made 